Hey there! In this tutorial, we are going to show you some improves we've made to make your first experience with the things that are your even better. It is going to be so easy to start sending data from a device. In case you have never signed up in the things that are your, you have to do it. It is easy and quick, and if you have an account, you just need to log into the platform. Once you have entered to our platform for the first time, you will receive a welcoming message from our IoT expert. After that, we want you to have the best experience using the things.io, so that's why we ask you a few questions to understand a little bit more about your problem or what you are expecting to find here. Let's get started now. This is a new step we are just introducing to make it easier to connect and activate your first thing with the things.io. In the getting started, the first thing we help you to do is to create a new IoT product. Here, you have to introduce which kind of product you want to connect and the hardware you are going to use. Once accepting, your product will be created. As you see, after creating your first product, a box calling you to activate your thing will appear in your window. Click on the Activate First Thing button. Then you'll get the thing token, so you just have to accept it. Now we are in the middle of the process. We want to help you with some example code to make it easy to start sending us data. The code you need to add to your new thing will appear here, so you just have to copy and paste it, or depending on the thing, maybe to recode it. In case you cannot connect your device now, you can simulate and monitor it as we are going to explain you later. If you click on the last button of the Getting Started tutorial, you will be moved to the Things Manager window. Here, you will find your Think ID and your Think token. Here, you will also find the simulator, which will send random values that will be useful to test your thing. You can also go to Developers and then Libraries to find more libraries and examples about how to send data to the things that are young. And that's it. Now, you should have your thing connected, activated and sending data to your dashboard. Easy, right?